Very good day to you people. My name is Mohit. Guys, today I'm going to show you uh, the use of at least three components. The progress bar component, that's one. The UI loader component, that's two. And uh, the tile list component, yep. So this tutorial uh, will talk about uh, the usage of all three components together. So let's start. Let me hit this uh, icon out here. I'm in the Essentials uh, workspace, guys. I'm going to hit on this icon. And uh, then I'm going to pull up uh, three components. And, uh, you know, I'm going to drag it into the library. So that's a one. And uh, the tile is the second one. And the UI loader is the third one. Okay, cool. Okay. Now, let me start off uh, by explaining the usage of uh, the UI loader. Let me bring it back. Uh, let me get it onto the stage now. Okay. Uh, let me hit the properties button. Let me um, expand the UI loader like so. Okay. I can make it any size I want. 100 by 100 is the default size, and thereafter I can increase it. Let me make it 200 by 200. Cool. All right. Uh, once the UI loader is on the stage, guys, uh, out here, you see the component parameters that can be attached to it. Okay. The most important of them all is the source. And the source is nothing but the name of the picture that we would want to load into the UI loader where this picture is placed externally somewhere on the hard disk. Or it could be, uh, it could even be, a, a, you know, a URL on the internet. That's, that's fine as well. No issues there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring one picture that's lying on the hard disk. Let's say pick one dot png. Okay. But if I say control enter right now, guys, nothing is going to happen. Nothing is going to happen because Flash does not understand where exactly the external png file is placed. It'll give you an error message which says uh, URL not found. Obviously, it doesn't know where the URL is. So, we need to tell Flash where the URL exactly is. First, let me save the document. And uh, then, guys, let me save it under this folder where I keep most of my Flash projects. And let me call it uh, Understanding Components. Cool. Right. Then guys, what I need to do next is, I need to show the path where the picture is placed. <coughs> so I need to say publish settings. Then I need to tell Flash the output publish destination. Okay. Now I know for a fact that a folder called new folder on the desktop is holding those three pictures. So I'm going to show the path and then I'm going to say, okay, guys. On the desktop out here, you can see this folder. New folder contains this picture, pic1.png. That was the reason at the time of uh, saying publish settings. I showed that the, uh, I said the Swift should be published to the same folder, the new folder lying on the desktop. Now guys, since I've shown the path, if I test the movie now, exporting SWF movie by hitting control enter, you can actually see that um, this uh, picture, it's an icon, has been uh, placed inside the UI loader. So basically, UI loader is a is a container inside which we can place external pictures and even external Swifts, guys. Okay, even external Swifts. Let me show you show you another example. Uh, um, let me go inside the same folder and let me search for a Swift file. Okay, let's say Crazy Balls. Okay, so that's crazy balls with a capital uh, W. Right. So let me go back to Flash. And if I say something like crazy balls dot SWF and hit control enter. Guys, actually, uh, what I need to first do is I need to make sure that the scale content is off because that crazy balls project is pretty big and uh, 
see once I set the scale content to off okay uh, it'll make sure that it will show up as the original size it will not contain itself in the UI loader that's a must when you're getting in uh, an external asset inside the UI loader you should uh, switch the scale content off let me just now okay now guys uh, you can see that the external um, Swift has uh, actually placed itself inside the UI loader and even outside the UI loader for the simple fact that we did not want to scale the content very very cool and the output messages out here are coming because uh, they were even coming at the time of creation of the flaw for this uh, so that's not an error actually okay it's, it's, it's not a critical error guys it's a message that will not affect the animation and that was happening even at the time of uh, flaw creation for this project so that's fine so in a nutshell guys if I keep the scale content off the see what happens the picture it could be BMP PNG JPG okay will show up in its original size if I set the scale content to on it'll show up uh, it'll be constrained by as much as the size of the UI loader so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that it's set to off right now okay let me get in that same picture again which was pick one dot png and this time guys it will show up in its original size right so it's not constraining anymore it's not constrained anymore okay and the original size is 256 by 256 uh, pixels cool now that we have understood the, the uh, UI loader component let me get in the next one from the library which is the progress bar okay right <clears throat> since the default progress bar is uh, pretty short uh, let me increase the size okay and then guys I'm gonna connect the UI loader with the progress bar let me call the progress bar progress bar um, let me call it PB for progress bar and let me call the UI loader UI for short and that's PB for short, short for our uh, progress bar. Okay. Next, guys, I'm gonna select uh, the PB or the progress bar, and in the source, I'm gonna write UI. Now, what will happen is this way, the UI loader and the PB get connected. Now, what will happen if they get connected? We'll soon see. So, uh, let me hit Control Enter on the keyboard once, and once again. Now what will happen when I hit control enter twice guys the simulation will start which means you will actually see the progress bar running from left to the right uh, it'll run till the UI loader actually fills up completely and then it'll show up the picture so what happened here was the progress bar got connected to the UI loader and uh, it was showing the progress of the loading of the external picture or the external asset very cool so wasn't it very simple to actually connect uh, you know and uh, all right so now that I'm done with uh, the two com components two components let me get in the third one cool now is the turn for me to bring in the tile list okay also guys let me click on the UI loader and uh, let me uh, let me remove the source now as far as the source is con concerned for the UI loader I will not be putting it up uh, up here but I'll be putting it up in the tile list and you will soon see what I mean by that cool uh, okay so let me select the tile list and uh, let me unlock this let me increase the width to let's say a 200 okay and then guys uh, see the tile list will, will serve 
as the placeholder of the thumbnails for the pictures. Okay, right now each tile is 50 by 50. Each tile is 50 by 50. The column width is 50 and the row height is 50. If it sounds confusing guys, it will not uh, in some time. So I'm going to change it to 100 by 100. You'll soon see what I mean. So I'm changing the column width and the column height to 100 by 100. Okay. And then as far as the data provider is concerned, we have this pencil symbol out here. I'm going to click there. Uh, which pops up this box, guys. Let me click on the plus button. As far as the label is concerned, uh, I'm going to type Adobe icon out here. Okay. And as far as the source is concerned, I'm going to say pick one dot png now probably you'll understand why i actually removed the source for the ui loader but instead i made the tile list as the source for the ui loader and we'll soon see what i mean cool let me get in one more picture let me change the label to a dream weaver and uh label is dream weaver the source is pick two dot png and let me say okay cool now if i were to hit control enter let's see what happens guys now as i said uh, the the tile list component is going to serve as the thumb thumbs for the original picture that will appear in the ui loader so how do i actually make you know these two pictures appear in the the ui loader it's not at all very difficult guys it's very simple i just need to add uh, some action script let me do that then let me close it up okay so now let me change the name of the layer to assets let me add in one more layer okay and uh, let me call it as3 action script 3 let me right click on the very first frame go inside the actions panel and start coding I'm going to say tile list. Okay. By the way, I forgot to mention the instance name for the tile list. Let me call it tile list. I can give any name, guys, but I'm not allowed spaces. So I'm going to call it tile list. And then inside the actions panel, guys, I'm going to say tile list.add event listener okay and then i'm gonna say event colon change so it's a change event guys well, let's see what is the relevance of this and uh, then i'm gonna say the name of the function image changer all right so let me define the function so function keyword copy this paste it out here inside the parents i need to pass in the event so it's an event event right colon void since this function does not calculate and return a value and inside the curly braces i need to say ui which is the ui loader instance name dot source i need to make it equal to tile list dot selected item dot source very very simple so what i'm saying is i would want in the ui loader to load that picture which is the selected item in the tile list so uh, what it means is hey dog can you stop barking so i can continue with my tutorial i need to pause the tutorial okay um, let me explain it again so i would want the source of the ui loader to be the same as the selected item in the tile list the tile list right now has two pictures or two thumbs now those two thumbs will serve as the source for the ui loader so whichever thumb the end user clicks on becomes the source of the ui loader and the source is a picture 
is an external asset guys it's either pick one or pick two dot png so time to test control enter on the keyboard let's hope there are no errors uh, there are none and next guys what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit uh, the adobe icon the first picture shows up i'm going to hit the dreamweaver icon the second picture shows up so very good let me just uh, you know place these two icons or the tile list uh, slightly towards the bottom okay uh, let me take the ui loader slightly towards the roof let me also push the progress bar up let me test now control enter okay and uh, one more control enter to test or uh, to test the simulation you just need to wait a while before we see the progress bar running from left to right guys um, this is part number one and um, I'll actually show you how to make a picture gallery using all these three components uh, there instead of using these two icons I'll be using four icons okay and uh, on every click of uh, any of those four icons we'll see the UI loader actually change so I clicked on the Adobe icon and you can see the progress bar running from left to the right guys and once it loads completely the picture shows up let me click on Dreamweaver you can see the uh, progress bar run from left to the right and uh, we can see the Dreamweaver icon show up so this is uh, you know this is just a part one of a two-part tutorial in the second part I'll show you how to use uh, four icons and four pictures R rather I'll use three pictures I, I, I think I'll use three pictures but every time uh, the the original picture shows up in the middle I would want the progress bar to disappear but that is something we'll be doing in part number two guys so that's all for part number one I hope you enjoy this tutorial guys I hope you learn something new from it and I'll see you very soon in part two of this tutorial of understanding uh, flash components you have a very good day guys peace bye bye